All right, so I fixed this one from yesterday, and like did what he said, took the element of both sides and worked all the way down. And once you get to the end, uh, this is going to zero. So ln of L is going to zero, you, so you take E to the zero, so that'd be one. So it diverges by the nth term test. Can you explain the ln part? Because I can get into this. Like, how do you, when you, to bring the exponent down, you just have to take the ln of both sides just to bring the... the right, and then you can put, yeah, and then you put the exponent in front of the ln. And then from there, I just put it, multiply it together and put it into the into a fraction. You just write tell write the, rule. the ln rule off to the side so she can she can see it. Ln of a raised to the b. The rule is this: ln of any number raised to a power is equal to b times ln of a. So One anytime of I have a right. That's a property of the natural log, and that's the whole reason we applied natural log to both sides because. Each, that's, a, that's a standard trick. When you see the variable in the base and the variable in the exponent, you got trouble. Those are nasty functions. Because, I mean, just think yeah. of the simplest one would be x to the x. Well, it's 1 to the 1, and if you had 2 and it's 2 squared, you put 3 and it's 3 cubed, 5 and it's 5 to the 5th. It's growing super fast, right? So those are nasty functions, and they're nasty functions to take the derivatives of. So when you want to take a derivative of them or do a limit of them, you're almost always going to take the natural log of both sides and try to turn it in from a from a base and a power into a product, right? Because 2 to the n plus 1 all to the 1 over n turns into 1 over n times the natural log. Now we got a product. Now we got something we can deal with. Make sense? So that's why that's why I did it. Any other question on the algebra, Jeff? Uh, how did you get from where it has infinities to the next one? To here? To here? Yeah. Well, the derivative, so I took the derivative of the top and the bottom. And the derivative of this is 1 over 2n plus 1 times 2, because it's uh, 1 over what's inside times the derivative of the inside. And this is just 1, so that would leave you with. Okay, I'll ask you. Makes sense? Any other questions? Okay. Good. All right. Cody, you've been awful quiet over there lately.